Hey guys, Leanna here. It is a top five Thursday. Yes, I finally did another top five list. Uh, I don't remember if I did top ten before or top five, but it's a top five list this time because I couldn't think of ten things. I got like seven, and so I picked the best five because top seven doesn't sound as good, does it? Anyway, I digress. This week is the top five ways you can tell you may be playing the long dark too long. And these are all things that have actually happened to me because I think I have been playing the long dark too long. If, if there is any actual way to play a video game too long, this is up for debate. So let's change it to top five ways you know you've been playing the long dark a really, really long time. So don't judge the play time. Sound good? Sound good. Okay, number five ways you've been playing the long dark possibly an unhealthy amount of time. You see a soda can on the ground and you catch yourself moving to pick it up to forage. I actually did this outside of Boston Pizza on the weekend. Number four, your small dog whimpers and it reminds you of the in-game wind. This happened earlier, thanks Loki. Number three, the, uh, <laughs> he responded. Number three, you see a stick on the ground and move to pick it up. Wait, this is real life. I did that on the way back from shopping earlier. Number two, you have a craving for grape soda and canned peaches, also pork and beans, even though you don't eat meat. And number one, the number one way you know that you may have been playing the long dark a little too long, you hear a large dog bark in the distance, you freeze, thinking it might be a wolf. Yes, I actually did that in the real world. I have been playing the game too long. But it's an awesome game. It's an awesome game. Yes, it is. We love the long dark. Yes, don't we? Canada, 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 Canada. Pick up the ammo. Thank you. 